beans. <laughs> what could be like a pumpkin pie cheesecake? Stay tuned. So if you want to use can um can pumpkin, that's okay. But all if you want to use um your Halloween pumpkins, all you have to do is pick off the stickers or whatever. Just pick off the stickers that have it, and then you have to cut it in half, and then take all the guts out, and then you just need to pour the water in and put it like this. And then you have to put it in the oven to bake. How you know they're ready, you might want to take a knife, put it in, and if it goes in really easily, that means it's done because it's soft. So, um, the first step you're going to want to do is you're going to want to spray your pan and put the dough in. And you can actually buy um, dough in like that um, graham cracker crust. But my mommy just went ahead and um, made dough. And then we're gonna show you how to make the pecan pie. Watch out guys. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, once you got your pan buttered or sprayed, and pan butter, you're going to want to, or any other, you're going to want to put the dough in and um, press it down. Press it down. That's good. I'm going to make snowballs with it. <laughs> You can also make pre-designs on the side with a fork. And if your fork has a pre-design here, you can make a mark. But if you don't like um, it, you can erase it. <laughs> for the caramel pecan bottom for a crust, we are going to do one cup, one, I mean two cups, um, pecan, two cups of pecan. Four tablespoons of maple syrup. Oh my gosh, it's too good. Gonna do a do of the bowl. It'll be much more sweeter if we do it. Oh, one, oh. One. One teaspoon molasses. Come in. Okay, now a dollop of butter. This much. That's a dollop. You have to use this one. I mean, four. Once you got it all stirred up and mass and maple oil, you're going to want to pour in your pie crust. I'm going to do it right now. And then put it in a really high temperature. 400. Put it in for a really, for a really high temperature. 400. Okay. This is about. For how long? Um, 400. For how long? Um. <laughs> 15 minutes. 15 minutes. It's my first time making a pumpkin pie with a video. I did way before. Well, so, so like a baby. Like, okay, for the cheesecake part, we're going to use one cup of um, puree. Pumpkin, that means puree means blend pumpkin. 
Why? <laughs> it's like baby food. Poor baby food that never stays. Not for my brother named Snoop. You know, you heard. One package of any cream cheese, but we use cashew. Oh my gosh, you made a mold. Good so one teaspoon vanilla. Now remember it can drip through. So just you don't need to squeeze it. That means one whole cup. And this is teaspoon. One half teaspoon of cloves, ginger, and nutmeg. You always do it like a powder or a milk or something over the bowl or whatever you have going on. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a lot going on. <laughs> and we have a lot going on today. I have to go dance. One teaspoon yeah. cinnamon. A couple dashes of salt. That means like maybe ten dashes. I love salt. <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm -hmm. That's a balloon. A little itty bit of lemon juice. Oh, it's raining. Now we're going to stir it. And one tablespoon of flax. A little dupe of maple syrup. Mix it. Okay, now I'm going to pour it in the pie crust and then um, um, bake it for another, for another, for the, it depends on your oven or your house, <laughs> no, 30 to 45 minutes and then um, of your pie crust on the side that the details already turn gold, you can cover, you can cover it up. Up some foil so it doesn't burn when you cook it again. Oh, you know, you let it do it again. <laughs> I hope you all try to at home. home. It's so yummy in my tummy. In Happy Thanksgiving! <laughs> Thank you all for watching! Bye! Just a big dollop. Put it with cream. Oh, oh my god! Oh! Ah, I can dip it in there! That's my butter, Jolly Bean! We call him Jolly Bean. Thank you all for watching!